This Sugarland man is behind bars, accused of child trafficking, and police hope that his arrest is just the beginning of the end of a disturbing criminal enterprise. ABC 13's Alex Bazargian is live on the west side with the story. Alex. DPS special agents were able to arrest 33 year old Zachary Pereira not too far from here and they were also able to bring an underage sex trafficking victim to safety but they do believe this is a bigger operation a lot more minors might be tied up in this who also need rescuing. We've got special agents that are dedicated to just doing human trafficking, and every week they are working on these investigations. Houston ranks number one for sex trafficking cities in the U.S., according to the Houston Area Women's Center. Just this year alone, DPS special agents have arrested 60 human traffickers during operations in southeast Texas. And Lieutenant the Craig Cummings says the silver lining is they've also rescued 50 victims, 10 of which were minors. Sadly, there are times that we would recover um, a victim multiple times. The minor recovered in the latest operation was allegedly being trafficked by 33-year-old Zachary Pereira. According to records, Pereira subjected the child to sexual assaults and prostitution. And our role is to try to find these victims, rescue them, and then get these traffickers behind bars where they belong. Pereira was arrested on Monday. According to court documents, he was already out on bond at the time for an invasive visual recording charge. Those documents say in 2022, he took videos of a female co-worker while she was sleeping and while she was naked in the shower. ABC 13 has learned that up until his arrest on Monday, Pereira was working a new part-time job at the Houston Country Club. Management there says he's since been terminated and they are cooperating with authorities. Lieutenant Cummings says Pereira is likely a small fish in a large operation. DPS is tight-lipped about the amount of players involved, but they are working with partners at the federal level to close in. It takes undercover work and many hours, but he says even just one trafficking victim rescued is a win. Every person that we can recover, it's worth all of the effort that we put in. Um, if we only get one individual throughout the year that turns their life around, um, you know, that's, that's worth it for us.